I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2020 U.S. Exam Non-Calculator Section. College Board describes an exponential decay situation where we start with 200 grams of a substance and its half-life is 150 years, meaning after 150 years, half the original amount will still remain. And they ask which of these four equations describes that situation. I'm going to take the first fact. We start with 200 grams. So at t equals 0, the correct model should give us 200. If I put t equals 0 in here, I get 150 times 1 half to the 0 over 200 is 1 half to the 0. Anything to the 0 is 1, so that's 150. That's not correct. Choice A is not the correct answer. Choice B is also 150 times 1 half to the 200t is still to the 0 which is 150 to the 1 is 150, but we start with 200 grams of the material, so B is not correct. Choice C and D are going to be 200 times 1, which is 200, so they do match at T equals 0. Let's check choices C and D at 150 years. Since 150 years is one half life, and after one half life, half the original amount is left, at 150 years we should have 200 times one half. So at T equals 150, choice C gives us 200 times one half to the 150. T is 150 times 150. That's going to be one half to a very high power. And the other one, choice D, is 200 times 1 half to the t over 150. When t is 150 years, t over 150 is 150 over 150, which is 1. So that's 200 times 1 half to the first is 100 grams of the substance. So choice D gives us half the original amount. Choice C, I don't know what. 150 times 150 is, I guess, 22500, some huge number. One half to that power is going to be a very small fraction of the 200 grams. So choice C is not correct, and choice D does, in fact, give us the correct amount both initially and at 150 years. So that's the correct answer. College Board will always, somewhere on the SAT, have questions about exponential growth and decay and fitting a model to a word problem like this. So make sure you review this concept carefully and come back soon for my next SAT video. With math, there's always more.